he is alive. I mean, you don't know that. And he's also the strongest. <laughs> I freaking called it. I was like, it's gonna be the mirror road and she's gonna be like, oh, he's the strongest person now, your son. It doesn't make much sense, but uh, yeah, he, he really power creeped in that one episode. He, he went from like the weakest person ever to the strongest person ever, right? Uh, I guess the mirror ranking power clearly is going after, how's it, uh, strongest fighter, warrior, whatever, right? best win ratio. Not going after like physical strength, because there's no way that body is actually stronger purely physically, right? But he, you know, he's, he's the fastest guy with his amazing weapon and so on, whatever he's using, right? So yeah, this art uh, again, right? So, but to actually think about it though, his father, King Bosse, was never ranked as the strongest fighter. Right? He was like ranked, as I said earlier with Daida, that their father was the most physically strongest person, right? The giant guy. But he was never ranked as the best, actual, highest ranked fighter, right? Um, so maybe he, he maybe was, was never better than some of the other ones because he didn't have the technique or whatever, right? So maybe he always lacked technique and strategy. But anyway, anyway, that being said, though, I, uh, I, yeah, let's talk about Boss's evil plan. Well, this episode is going to be a lot of details, right? So we have Boss's truth. Um, he, he gets a deal with Satan, right? Whatever he is, Lucifer. And you know, oh, you need to sacrifice a family member, and then you get stronger. Uh, he of course can't do that. He has no family, so he goes and <laughs> picks up a sexy giant woman, so he can like you know get some baby strides. He's the strongest uh, giant lady, and then you know they fight, and I guess they fall in love or something. Honestly, I feel the kind of romance or whatever. What is? A I mean, it was kind of a little cute, but at the same time. I guess she just whatever. She was like, "I'm the strongest man, giant. Let me let me be with him." Yeah, it, it, they didn't really progress it that well. She, she was just like, "Hey, let's do it." She was like, "Okay, let's fight first. I'll be pretty equal strong. He'll do it." He didn't feel like very deep into why he, <laughs> why she fell in love with him. It was just like, "Ah, oh, whatever. He's the strongest giant, so let's do it." Um, but certainly, it explains why body is so tiny. We already know he was cursed, but uh, of course, that's why he shrank down. Right? He's a giant. They lost his giant power, and I guess his father then is a double giant, right? He got that, um, I mean, basically, right? Basically, he has the power of his, himself, his own giant body, right? With also then his son's giant body. And as he saw, his body kind of healed up during that fight, which means that, yeah, again, I guess he's like a double giant in, in a, the strength of two giants, right, or whatever, fused in together. And that makes him, uh, of course, very powerful, at least physically speaking. What is kind of weird though, but I guess it's magic, is that right now, I mean, right now he's in Dida's body, but he seemingly is retaining his giant physical strength, right? It's a little bit, I mean, I guess Dida did drink the, the, the smoothie though, but still, it's a little bit like he had a giant body that cursed and shrank down his son's giant body, making him like a double giant, and then, <laughs> but then also with his new son, his second son, still has all that physical strength. Uh, but I mean, it's magic, so I mean, I, I buy it. This is covering her here, here it is. So, Miriano, Miriano, whatever name pronounced, she still is the, probably the big evil, right? The main antagonist. Obviously, her father is very evil. He basically just went and met Body's mom so he could get a kid so he could abuse his son or take his powers, yeah. And then it's like, I need a new son now, so take his body or whatever. So, he's clearly a very, very selfish one. But this episode, what doesn't explain is. How did he actually meet up with uh, whatever she is, right? Sorceress, evil witch, or whatever. Yeah, like, it doesn't explain how they actually met, right? Uh, because she's already here. She's already here as, I guess, I guess as Boss's advisor. He's like right hand party member. His intelligence crew or something. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't explain at all why he's working with her. And she's probably the one, of course, that uh, gave him the idea, right, to talk to Satan and so on. He's, she's probably like, oh, this the demonic guy over here, or the, the impact that, and so on. So she, I still feel that she remains as the main antagonist, uh, and Boss is the current antagonist, right? And then after Body defeats him, eventually, uh, she's still gonna, I guess, you know, be like, uh, like the, the woman behind the man antagonist, right? You know, the real antagonist, yeah, the evil master plan, whatever she's actually planning though. So it clearly doesn't display the full backstory, but because I, because I expect it to be something with her, right? Like why did she, uh, why did she make boss uh, do this right and so on? It's clearly her plan, right? 
Uh, he wants to be the strongest uh, person alive. But she, I would guess, has a much more evil, sinister plan. I think that makes sense. Pretty typically, uh, he's the, the dragon, right? He's a dragon trop. He's the strongest guy in the front. And she's the emperor, or empress, that is the empress behind, right? Like controlling this. You want to be the strongest? I want to control the planet, right? There. She has some kind of evil shenanigans behind it. And this episode doesn't explain it all, though. But that's probably eventually going to explain that, what she's actually doing. And Reddy kind of took his, uh, his giant powers. So I'm gonna get a new son with a second wife and then take his body. <laughs> so this guy, he, he, him and killing his son, so he's like, ah, that's pretty fine, you know? <laughs> yeah. First he's like, ah, don't kill me, son. And he's like, I'm actually your husband. He's like, huh? <laughs> yeah. So um, a very hand plot line here. He's like, I'm your son husband. Uh, but I still love you, mom, wife. It's like, a weird, yeah, it's weird. I possessed your... Uh, I mean, your husband obsessed your son. Very weird storyline. Um, it certainly feels like he he never cared about poor healing, right? You know, she's like best stepmom ever in anime. But it feels like her husband never cared about her. It, it definitely is portrayed as uh, I mean, portrayed. I mean, maybe it's wrong, right? But it definitely seems like he used married her so she could get more babies. He could get his sons to right, take their bodies. And obviously he was like, I don't care about her. She's completely, I don't love this woman. She's just like a random woman I married. A random queen that I could abuse and whatever, right? So yeah, poor healing. He's to be a complete victim here in this case, definitely. Like he never even loved her or anything. It certainly seems like that. Right? It certainly seems like he had zero interest in uh, whatever her life, right? And now he's just like, I'm just gonna kill her. <laughs> she gave birth. I took the baby and get his powers, whatever. Just sell the hellhounds to kill her. Uh, I don't care. Uh, that's how it really seems though. That being said though, we have seen healing before, right? She's been healing up, she flexed up, showed her muscles on it. We see healing flex a lot. Given that his first wife was like the strongest woman alive, right? Physically the giant woman. Uh, maybe healing is actually powerful, right? We've seen healing flex up again, so... I don't know, maybe healing can... She probably can't beat Bosse, but you know, maybe she could actually beat the Hellhounds. <laughs> because it was kind of strange how they were like... We need to test this hellhounds. Can they really kill her? So, you know, maybe he is actually a very powerful warrior. Some kind of paladin, healing and physical strength, right? Some kind of warrior, cleric, something, perhaps. It wouldn't surprise me. Again, right? We've seen her show her, you know, massive muscles, right? So maybe she's actually like a top ranked queen warrior lady. It would fit into how the first woman, the first queen also was, you know. The physically strongest person, right? She, she might be the best healer or something in, in, on the planet. Uh, he obviously wanted to marry the first wife after her level, to speak, right? So healing, I actually, I mean, I, I think, honestly, I think healing is going to definitely, I feel it'd be kind of, no, but I, I think it's actually a fit, right? He said, I tried to kill her. He's going to be like, screw you and beat the crap out of him. And of course, he's going to lose, but maybe he's going to feed some of the other guys, right? Because honestly, I, I would buy that, right? Because healing is probably like, the, one of the top ranked queen warrior ladies <laughs> that, he, that he married because of her power rank, right? So I, I hope that healing is gonna kick his ass this episode. That would be lovely. I, I love it, yeah. I would love if healing turned around and beat the crap out of him. <laughs> it would be awesome, yeah. You killed our son, you know, it's, yeah. you tried to kill the, both my boys, yeah. <laughs> I went after him. It would be hilarious. Uh, it would be awesome. I would actually, actually, I think it would happen, honestly. I think healing is gonna kick his ass. Uh, in this attitude, we smack him around a bit, right? Then, of course, he would probably uh, take it serious, hit her, and then she hopefully probably will escape, right? Um, what more happened? Oh, yeah, Doma. I mean, the Doma's part is interesting. Doma's very complex character. And I also find it kind of hilarious how, how say, it, the whole world building, where he's like, oh, let's go down to the basement. Why? Oh, it's like a lot of demons down there. He told me to kill all the demons. Why, why, why is there a, like a dungeon under, what, the underworld is where we live? It's like, yeah, it's a, it's a hell gate here. It's like, oh, why? I don't know. <laughs> that, that thing is... Uh, that thing I don't get in this anime, honestly. I don't understand why they're following him. I mean, it's one thing he's uh, one of the strongest person ever. So I guess they have to follow him, right? In pure like, fear of him killing them. But still, though, it's a little bit like... Oh, the king told me there's like a demon gate underneath my house. And I have to go and kill those demons. It's like, wait. Why did the king put a... Why did the king put a demon gate at your house, basically? It's like... <laughs> you know, I don't know. Better get there anyway. So it feels a little weird why they're all is suddenly follow him. He tells them that, oh, I'm the king or whatever, right? And he's like, okay. And they just accept it. Up, ah, yes, and so on. All, all of them, right? That's probably why, again, I think healing has to actually come out here and fight him. Because 
everyone else is accepting that he's the leader, right? Yeah, everyone else is like, ah, whatever, you're the king, let's do what you want, right? She's probably the only one who's going to refuse to uh, to follow him. Because um, the rest are like, uh, screw you. Um, you know, she's, yeah, I think healing is going to be the only one like, what? You killed my sons? I will defeat you. Where all the other people basically just surrender to him, right? Or I guess agree to follow him anyway. Even though he's clearly evil, they were like, ah, whatever. <laughs> that being said, though, I, I guess the last point I'll say here is that certainly King Bosse is evil, uh, but this is supposed to be medieval Europe, I suppose, right? And uh, it's a monarchy. So it's actually, in a way, though, a lot of kings were evil, and it, it, it's, not, it's not that weird that they are actually just like accepting that their king is evil. Yeah, they're like, oh, king, you killed your sons? Well, I mean, whatever. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, in, in one way, that Apis is like, well, I mean, whatever, you, you see the king, so, okay, let's go with it. <laughs> like, in, in some way, it actually does make sense, because it's like, I don't know, 11, 1100, 1200, you know, Europe, and you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, you're the king, let's just kill everyone, uh, I suppose. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's for you of uh, Osterbank, episode 8, see you guys with uh, Proton and uh, Edge of Night, which I think last episode was terrible. Honestly, but I keep watching it because it's bad and I wonder how Death Note author could write that thing. No, but honestly, this episode had like, we saw her psychic backstory and it was just so weak. I was like, holy shit, this is one of the worst battles I've seen in anime. Uh, and I mean, I've seen One Piece. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I have seen so many animes, right? Shonen anime especially, with backstories. And I'm not going to say that Psyche had the worst backstory ever, but it definitely is like top 10 really weak backstories that I felt was completely unmotivating her character. So, uh, but that makes me want to watch more, honestly, right, of Plot of the Mad, which is coming with the next stream then, because I'm just like, how, what is happening, right, I want to watch more, this anime here, also mentioning it's amazing, right, so I want to watch more because it's so good, but if an anime is really bad, I also kind of want to watch more, because I'm like, what's happening, how can it be so bad, <laughs> it's like, it's, just, yeah, for me, I think the worst animes are animes where I feel it's very mediocre, it's like, it's not that horrible, it's pretty bad, it's not that good either, you know what I mean? Like, so you, you feel different, you're like, well, this is kind of... Okay, yeah, then there's like pointless, right? Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys and have a great day.